SMT Nation, we are back and we are doing another part to this video series in which speed test may not be telling the whole story. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to continue our testing of the LTE and 5G networks if it really matters all that much when you're doing things like downloading games. So we're going to do our speed test on the Verizon network. This one is going to be on their 4G LTE network and their 5G ultra wideband network uh you guys know all about their c-band and all that stuff uh so we'll do a speed test on each of those sides of the network and then we're going to do the download of the among us game and time them to see if it makes a difference between 4g lt and 5g and uh how it pertains to that particular download use case again this is just a game download it's not the end all be all it is just some spe uh, specific testing to kind of see how it all equates if the speeds on speed tests automatically mean you're going to get fast downloads and such all right so let's start first with a speed test over on the euclid side i'm gonna do like i'm gonna do a few of these try to get some consistent results and then once i see that things are pretty much what they're going to be with no variation we'll go ahead and do our game download let's go ahead and fast forward all right so digging into the results looking at the top three tests We've got some pretty fast speed. We've got about 500 megabits down. Uh, we got a low range in the low 400s. We got the upper kind of in the low 500s. So lots of speed, lots of throughput. This is the N77 C band for Verizon, the 5G ultra wideband network. Testing in the middle of the day here in the afternoon, indoors on the main level of the SMT HQ. All right, so I just want to make sure we throw that out there. All right, let's go ahead and switch over two applications let's go ahead and install the among us game which is about a 400 i think 470 something megabytes in size so we're going to go ahead and hit the install piece and uh, we're going to start the stopwatch here as soon as the network starts downloading this hit okay and we are off And we're at 100%. Okay, so we downloaded the game in 16.7 seconds to download it over the 5G Ultra Wideband Network. Uh, that's pretty fast. I'd say that's pretty good, right? If I'm a person who wants to download and install that game, I'd say that's very acceptable. You wouldn't have to worry too much about you know, it taking forever. I think that's a, that's a good download speed. Anyways, what we want to do is we want to take a look at the LTE network for Verizon. There's a lot less bandwidth, probably not as much speed, but uh, we want to see what that's like, All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and actually, I'm going to show you guys what I do to do this. Go over to the band selection um, service mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all bands. All right, so no band selected. Go over to LT band preference. We're going to go to LT all, go to main, and then you apply band configuration. And you will see that the LTE logo is there. All right, so no more 5G ultra wideband. And we want to do the same thing that we just did. All right, so, so now that we've got the LTE logo, and you'll see it says LTE plus. I'm going to try to show you guys there. All right, and then let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's reset everything, do our benchmark speed testing, and then we'll do our download. All right, folks, so the LT is done, and we've got these top three speed tests here in this log, and it looks like we are on the low range of 107 megs for downlink, and then upwards of 126. Uh, quite a stark difference between the 5G Ultra Wideband, right? So you're, you're losing quite a bit of speed. Uh, in uplink, you're at about a third of the throughput. In downlink, I mean basically the same right you're at about a third of the throughput maybe a fourth of the throughput right so uh definitely a reason to be on the 5g ultra wideband if the capacity is a requirement for sure but i hey that's pretty good downlink for lt it's like uh it's probably 35 megahertz of bandwidth right but um yeah there's definitely a difference between lt and the 5g ultra wideband for sure all right so now that's all that we really have to do is download the Among Us game. Let's go ahead and time it, and we can compare it to how the 5G Ultra Wideband did. Uh, we'll do it here over LTE. So install over any network, and then once we see that, boom, it's at 
and we're off. All right, and we are done. We reached the 100% completion for the Among Us download, and we came in just a hair beyond 40 seconds, about 40.5. Okay, all right, so let's take a look at our results, all right? So we know the speed test results. All right, we got those here. The throughput on the 5G Ultra Wideband clearly leaps and bounds ahead, and it made a difference in the download of the game. We went from... I don't know, what, what was it, like 15, 16 seconds to download the game on the 5G Ultra Wideband to just over 40 seconds for over LTE. So in this particular testing, being on the 5G Ultra Wideband network made a difference in respect to completing a task like downloading a game. One could safely assume that the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband is the move if you're on a Verizon network as a customer. You probably don't want to be on LTE if you can't help it. You probably uh, want to be in a 5G phone. One specifically, I think that obviously is a little bit more modern and can take advantage of all the upgrades that Verizon has been doing for the network. So um, very different than the T-Mobile testing. In the T-Mobile testing, we saw a obvious speed improvement between 5G over LTE, but it didn't manifest itself in the actual network download when we downloaded the game so the in the t-mobile testing the game downloaded in 45 seconds or 46 seconds on both lt and 5g it didn't make a difference uh i again I, this is completely anecdotal i am testing a particular cell site in one place for one application but that's what we saw here right there is a reason to be on the 5g network for verizon this was not the case on the T-Mobile testing. Um, we got to do AT&T now, so we're, we're definitely going to do that. And we'll be sure to do some boost mobile dish testing for you as well. But uh, clearly, the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband is a more premium experience. Not being on it makes no sense. If you can be on it, you should be, because it clearly improves the experience. You are going to have a much more efficient uh, network experience. It looks it's going to be more consistent. You're going to download stuff faster. Uh, you're going to get stuff done quicker, uh, pretty clear at this point. So uh, Samsung Galaxy S24 for the testing. Um, you guys have any questions or any comments on your experiences? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, maybe do some of your own testing, get back to me, see if this is what you guys are able to produce or if your experiences are different. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more videos. Uh, there's a couple more pinned here. Subscribe if you're new and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. Um, now I got to go back in here and put this back on 5G ultra wideband because it is much better than LT. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. Peace. SMT Nation, it is time for me to introduce to you Aura. Give you guys an incredible suite of cybersecurity protections to keep everything that you do online safe. Keeping you safe from identity theft, scams, online threats, including protections for your entire family. They offer a pretty much a worry-free trial period Obviously, the pricing is very competitive, starting at $12 per month. They've got one simple and easy app for you to use. They've got incredible features, a million dollars in coverage, 24-7 expert fraud support, transparent pricing, the money-back guarantee at 60 days with a free trial, no strings attached. So with the odds of falling victim to an online crime being 1 in 4, this would change everything. You really should check them out. The financial fraud protection is worth its weight in gold. Help keep your kids protected within boundaries that you set forth for them. Proven to be the fastest, most reliable fraud alert system. And it's as simple as choosing your plan, simply setting up how you're enrolled, and then getting notified for all the things that it's monitoring. Start your free trial now. Use our link. It's down in the description, and it's also here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. You guys can click the URL. It's hyperlinked down in the description. And again, it's up here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. Protect yourself from all the digital threats that's out there in the world.